All right, coming to you live, not so live, recorded, uh, from an abandoned warehouse. Oh, uh, you can kind of see behind me, it's pretty big. Uh, there's three or four of them out here, and then what looks to be an old motel office from yesteryear. Uh, just staying in here out of the wind, as cool as it would be to use this as a shelter tonight. Uh, I'm sure somebody come up here curious about it. Uh, I'm about eight miles outside of Licking. Uh, storms had me down for a day yesterday, longer than I wanted. But uh, after that night hike, 15 mile thing, I uh, my feet can use all the rest they, they can get. So that's why we're doing kind of a short one today. We'll uh, camp down by Bender Creek is my plan. Uh, got some historical significance to the area as the Bender family, uh, from what I read, was uh, the people who started the tent, little town success down here after stealing it from another town's name uh, that was pretty close by. So now you have old success and regular success. Neither are much of a town, uh, if any, if they are. Uh, but it was uh, set up to hopefully attract the railroad uh, from Memphis and then going down into Texas. Uh, but they did not uh, get that. So railroad towns got big and this little area looks like it's been kind of forgotten. So uh, anyway, going to camp down there. Hopefully it's not too cold or too wet and uh, get going towards Houston tomorrow. All right. I have made it to Bender Creek. Uh, which was my stopping point today, a little over seven miles, uh, about halfway to Houston. Uh, not the best, but certainly I've read some terrible places that I've come to at the end of the day, so this is super campable. Uh, you can see the creek under the overpass here, but there's also, you know, there's a lot of open grass here. And, Looks like some homeless guy or maybe another hiker has camped under here before. So I'll hang out, make sure it's not super occupied. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be here for the night and we'll get back to it in the morning. All right, good morning. Uh, slept pretty decent last night, even though it rained off and on pretty much all night. Uh, stayed dry, so that was cool. Uh, had one little rainstorm this morning and then it said it was going to be clear so I started packing up and letting things dry out uh, tent and whatnot and uh, you know woke up to just whoa, the bluest sky I don't know if you can tell or not I'm not very good with the camera but then yeah behind me you can see there's another little 30 minute rain shower coming so just as my tent was drying uh we're gonna let it rain on it again and uh then let it dry out some more but it's early so should have time to do it and then it's back on my way to houston uh as i get closer and closer to my pop's house i'm gonna try and finish this best i can but the uh temptation of clearing these last 50 miles or so in a vehicle uh doesn't sound bad uh <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna make it to houston and maybe i'll be in a better mindset to uh keep going so all right i'll talk to you later not sure if you're seeing this but uh this is actually hail coming down Pretty good times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and now, it's straight up snowing. <laughs> hilarious. I mean, not hilarious, but hilarious. Oh, man. And then I gotta ford this creek over here, but I found a little path. So... Off to a good start. Hey, -o. coming back to you with some more hail and rain, and none of it predicted. Uh, got the gear for it, that's good news. I have clearly picked the most unhikable terrain in Missouri. I see why the ADT uses the Katy Trail. 
Uh, yeah, it is not pleasant at the moment. Get a lot of that. Uh, yeah, I tried to find farm roads and stuff, but this is just not meant for people to walk. Uh, so, you know, thoughts, prayers, donations to the GoFundMe are always appreciated in times like these. I don't know. May have to call the Hilo in. We'll see. Uh, good morning. Well, it's morning at the time of this video, I suppose. Uh, <clears throat> I have now made it to Bruder, Missouri, to my father's house, uh, which was the initial stop. Uh, I did make it to Houston the other day, uh, but after my third hailstorm, uh, I gave him a call, and he drove me back the uh, 50-ish miles I had left, so I don't feel super bad about that. Uh, weather was getting a little bit out of hand. I was in some pretty unhikable territory. Uh, probably most of it would have been okay, but even coming back with him, there was a few parts where I just, yeah, I don't know exactly how I was going to hike through some of it. Uh, but a hell of a uh, 200 miles and three weeks training period. Don't know if there was much I didn't experience during that uh, weather. Maybe bears. Bears about the only thing I haven't had to actually walk into. Uh, but he drove me back, and it was nice to get dried out and sleep in a bed. And I think I dreamed of eating an entire can of Easy Cheese, but I don't know why I don't have Easy Cheese. Uh, but anyway, dreams have been weird the last three weeks anyway. Uh, so I'll hang here for about a week, uh, and then we'll uh, kick it up to Leewood, Kansas, I guess, is where the actual ADT starts, and that's really what we're here to do, and uh, be well rested, and I'll get to spend some time with my pops that you know, we haven't seen each other since, I don't know, it was before COVID, like I said, it's uh, been a long time, so good to hang out with the old man, and Hang out at the house yesterday he was mowing his property and i was out picking up sticks and transported back to being a you know 13 14 15 years old just out here helping him do yard work like we hadn't missed a beat really <laughs> so uh but yeah hanging out with him and his wife laura is super super hospitable and they've got a little bed ready for me and everything and it was awesome uh as you can see it's you know I still ain't out of the woods by any means, but this property looks nothing like when I was a child. Uh, there's a lot more trees, so he's done a lot of work. So. But anyway, that's the update. The uh, plan is to stay here and maybe try to help raise a little bit more funds. Uh, we're down to just really food restocks. Uh, most of my gear is pretty good, and I've got some repair gear. Uh, anything can happen, obviously, and, and but... We're going to really try to take care of this gear, and it's it's worked out so far and it's held up to the elements, so I'm pretty happy with it. Boots are just now broke in, so they should last a little while. Uh, so, yeah, I've got uh, the GoFundMe still up there, but also selling some prints. I know I'm not a great photographer yet, uh, but if there's anything that I've taken pictures of or speaks to you, uh, I do have a little shop set up, and uh, you can also DM me, and we'll get it shipped to you pretty quick uh but yeah that way you know it's not something for nothing anymore it's uh trying to get back a little bit but also make sure we're not just totally out in the cold here uh but yeah uh it's early so my mind's not all the way 
<laughs> functioning and being articulate. Uh, but yeah, check out the Instagram, check out the YouTube. Uh, I guess subscribe on the YouTube if you can. Share some stuff. You know, the bigger the bigger the following, the the more I can maybe generate something somewhere else. But uh, you know, probably going to be light on the videos for the next few days, just to spend time with the fam. And after that, we'll uh, we'll get going on the actual trail and see if this uh, training period's going to pay off. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, post when I can post.